Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video. Today I want to go over 15 different subject matter experts, of course, in this luxury community. There are a ton of content creators out there. And for us as consumers, yes, I do create content, but I'm nowhere near as good as a lot of these content creators or as established. And I still rely on my fellow, you know, YouTubers for information in any kind of area or category. When you have more questions, more want to do more research, one, you Google. Number two, you YouTube videos, right? So it is the number two search engine right after Google. And these are the YouTubers I really enjoy watching. And for you to be a really successful content creator, you one, have to be educational. And number two, you have to be entertaining. Usually a lot of you content creators out there are one or the other. The successful ones, in my opinion, are both. Of these 15 different YouTubers, you probably all know and watch them already, but I just want to put a different, you know, perspective on it. So let's just get right into it. How do I define subject matter experts? I'm going to call it SME moving forward just because that's a mouthful and I know I'm going to trip up on it multiple times. These SMEs have a lot of experience, or, you know, whether it's through them purchasing for their own hobby and they've just cycled through a lot of it over the years. You know, some of them have done this, you know, 15 years, 10 years on YouTube. And prior to that, they have been purchasing bags and enjoying them and really like hone in on the details of every bag and every brand. That's how they get their experience. Number two, they have done extensive research on top of just purchasing the bags, right? Number three, they worked at Louis Vuitton. They worked at, you know, certain places. And that's how they have learned over the years. Now, I would kind of categorize myself as, you know, through experience, because I purchased a lot of uh, bags over the years, trial and error, et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, I've done extensive research. But I wouldn't say, I probably would categorize myself, again, just putting myself as you know, kind of the, not the benchmark, but like the example of how I would categorize myself. I dabble in everything. You wouldn't be like, oh, uh, Nikki knows all about Hermes, so you should go watch her channel. I, I won't say that I am the SME when it comes to Hermes. I know a lot. I know a lot about Chanel. I know a lot about Louis Vuitton, but I don't see myself as the SME on one specific brand. I like to dabble too much and I like to diversify my particular bag collection. I won't cover like all of the YouTubers I watch because that will be way too long of video. I'm going to talk about the ones I think most of you know and recognize so that we can kind of set the stage. And then I'm thinking about doing a second video where I'm going to highlight a lot of smaller YouTubers and really promote them because I think they're doing excellent work and I just want to help showcase what the effort and work and just having conversations that they're putting into their channel. Before I get into rattling off some of these YouTubers I love, I hope you don't get offended if I kind of categorize you in that specific, like don't categorize me as an expert of, you know, Bottega or whatever. That's just how I view you. And I'm sure a lot of like other viewers or your subscribers might view you as the same way. I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's how I see it. And I think you're, you're doing a great job at it. So don't take any offense for whatever reason. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is probably the most iconic brand, the most searched brand, rich history, and just, you know, everybody wants to look up Louis Vuitton and keeping up with what they have to offer. The first YouTuber I check in on is Winnie BLV. You probably know her already and you watch her channel. Some of you have found me through her channel because she is a great supporter of smaller YouTubers. So I really appreciate that. But the reason why I love Winnie is her straight up honesty. I love it. She likes to make fun of everything, of things that she loves and she doesn't love. And she is so daring. She will wash a Louis Vuitton for the sake of her own entertainment, because I think half of the things that she does is for her own amusement, which is awesome. That's kind of what I do as well. But she is so daring that she will throw a Louis Vuitton into the washing machine. That's not even something I thought I would ever do. Like, oh, should I just drop a couple hundred dollars and throw a Louis Vuitton Neverfull into the washing machine for the sake of entertainment and see what happens? I love her. 
that is so innovative and creative and she is open to trying anything out but i think her true love is louis vuitton she has spent a lot of time a lot of effort you know researching for something that she loves and if i'm ever interested in a louis vuitton piece i would definitely go to winnie b's um videos to search for any older videos to see like hey what does she say about the pochette matisse what does she say on on the go what does she say about what you know whatever louis vuitton bag that's who i see as an sme to rattle off some of the other ones lula lux i mean she a great channel i think she's a relatively newer youtuber and she has taken off and her primary focus is Louis Vuitton. She keeps up with the latest releases and everybody loves that. She reports Louis Vuitton like it's the news, which I think it's great. And then Minx For All, again, I think she has a really true passion when it comes to, you know, Louis Vuitton. I like her very honest and very relatable personality. And I'm sure you all subscribe to her already. So I won't, you know, go down uh, a rabbit hole talking about why I like her channel, but I think she's a very genuine person. She will tell you how it is, and I really appreciate that. The other one is going to be a handbag housewife. Erin and I have had a really good friendship going, and I think she is doing great things. The amount of research and time that she does on her own, and of course her purchasing all of these bags over the years has given her credibility, and I think she is very upfront and very honest about specific bags personally i don't do what she does but which is like she, when she loves something she'll buy it in six different colors that's not something i would do but that also gives you perspective right if you are able to purchase one particular model in six different bags that also shows you like hey i'm going to compare you know the craftsmanship of the same model they're just in different colors what the leather looks like in different colors, what the stitching looks like in different colors. She is able to do that because she likes to buy the same model in different sizes, in different colors, right? All, all in one shot. And that's, again, that's what she likes to do. So that gives her an advantage of doing so as well and taking in all of the experience and the research. So that's Louis Vuitton. Going on to Celine and the row. There's not a whole, I mean, everybody loves Celine, but I feel like there's not an SME out there that I go to except for Mary's room. She is such a unique channel where she has a very soothing voice. She talks about Celine. She goes into this history. She talks about the fashion trends of each particular, um, you know, brands, but I think she really hones in on Celine and the row as of recent. And I really appreciate that because she, her style to me is very low key. And to me, I relate with that because she likes more neutral colors. She picks out handbags that I never took a second look at. So I think that really gives me a different perspective on looking at Celine and the row. I mean, she does cover other topics as well. Moving on to Hermes, our beloved Hermes. I wish I can say I am the SME when it comes to Hermes, but when I compare it to these YouTubers, I, I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't know anything, apparently. I think I know a lot, but I don't. So obviously, GPS, I am GPS. He just like a wealth of knowledge when it comes to Hermes. He is the number one subject matter expert. Do I enjoy his video? He's not the most entertaining just to, he's very monotone just to be frank, but I love how he presents the information. Very organized, very structured. And it is a lot of information that I never thought even to look down. And of course that comes with a lot of research and a lot of effort as well as experience. He's been purchasing Hermes products for decades. That comes with the territory. I know he ventures out, dabbles a little bit with other brands, but for me, I see him as the Hermes SME. Jessie Style, obviously, you know her. She's got the most bubbly personality. I enjoy watching her. Um, she's definitely an SME in that space as well, where she does, she, she does a lot of research. I can tell that. And of course, Beauty Lux Lover, you know, she and I are friends, so I do have to highlight her. She is very into Hermes and she is very good at asking the questions um, when it comes to, you know, all of the different products. And she's willing to try the different categories, not just bags, all of the other categories like baseball caps. I'm like, I don't know if I ever would buy an Hermes baseball cap, but that's just me, right? 
So that's something I would look to as well. The next one is going to be Fendi. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just kind of the perception that I came up with on my own. Um, I feel like Fendi is extra popular for the folks down under in Australia. I don't know, but correct me if I'm wrong. But if I want to learn more about Fendi, I would go over to Dale's as well as Connor's Closet. I love Con watching Connor's Closet. He's just, he's savage. And I love that for him. He knows a lot about Fendi. He watches like the runway shows. And of course, he and Dale are really good friends. So obviously, they're going to talk about it amongst themselves. But if I want to know much about Fendi, that's who I would go check out their videos and see, again, going to their past history videos and see what they, what they have to say. When it comes to YSL, I, I think I know a lot about YSL, but I can always be learning more. I do batter my um, St. Laurent sales associates quite often, asking them random questions and what they know. Um, but if I want a YouTuber's per perspective, I do go see Chase Amy's uh, videos. She does a lot of styling videos, but she really loves her St. Laurent pieces. So that's why I kind of like to see what she picked out what she says about, you know, these St. Laurent purses, anything that's newer releases, of course, you know, what fits in the bag. She does a, she's been doing this for a while. So she does a very well-rounded kind of review on each particular bag and then give you an, a six months update or a wear and tear update. And she is honest from what I can tell. When it comes to Bottega, I don't feel, I mean, Bottega is not something I gravitate towards very often just because I don't, find their bags as interesting to me. They're pretty and I appreciate their luxurious buttery kind of leather, but their designs just don't appeal to me as much. But if I do want to, you know, learn a little bit more about Bottega, I go see Melissa Adams Wade's channel because she, she loves Louis Vuitton. She, I mean, she and I are friends. We talk all the time, but I feel like she knows quite a lot through experience when it comes to Bottega. She purchased them a lot of bags, especially in the beginning of her channel um, through Bot Bottega's boutique. So I, I think sh if I have a uh, question or if I have any, you know, concerns about Bottega bags, I would go straight to Melissa and ask her. Of course, I watch her videos too, so I don't like make her repeat herself. But I do think that she really knows a lot about Bottega. The next brand is going to be Chanel. When it comes to Chanel, I think Amelia Rose, she's such a fun, bubbly person. I love watching her videos and she is a no BS kind of person. She will tell you how it is. <laughs> and of course, her shopping addiction like the rest of us. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy that bag. Six months later, I lied. I'm gonna buy that bag. I bought that bag. I love that. I mean, that's all something we have said to ourselves. Like, I'm not gonna buy the bag. Yeah, and yeah, you know how that goes. So I think she is somebody I trust and somebody I enjoy watching when it comes to Chanel bags. To me, she is a great SME when it comes to Chanel bags. She loves her very fun limited edition. Will I buy all of these bags? No, but it's good to hear from a perspective when it comes to Chanel bags, all of the limited editions, the history, she does a lot of research and showing you these fun bags. Huh? fun bags, uh, fun purses that you may not be able to see in real life just because you're not visiting, you know, the Chanel store every second of your life. Right. So it's fun to look at it. But if I want to, for me, I purchase a lot of Chanel, like classic, very neutral, boring, if you call it. But if you want to look at something that is more bright colored, limited edition, definitely go take a look at Amelia Rose. The last category I'm going to cover is basically all encompassing. These are the YouTubers that I go to for anything and everything. And because they have so much experience in every single brand, I would just be like, okay, I'm going to check with Winnie BLV for LV. And then I'm going to check with, you know, these two YouTubers as well. That's kind of just how my brain works. Don't ask me why. Um, so Living Lux with Meredith, obviously, she is a wealth of knowledge. One, I'm sure she spends a lot of time and a lot of money, but the pure amount of items and brands that she has bought over the years, if you don't get that kind of experience with the amount of, you know, being a collector that she is, I don't know what you're doing. So that's why I'm saying like, she knows 
a ton and she will give you a lot of opinions. The fact that I watch her closet <laughs> video, like, oh my God, she knows exactly every single bag. I can't remember where I put my bag and I left my bag in the car. I can't even remember. The fact that she knows exactly how she organized her bags, that's why she runs a business, right? <laughs> so I, I do appreciate that. Again, I would go watch her videos, go search her videos to see what she thought about XYZ bag in any, any category, basically. And then last but not least is Cassie Thorpe as she as, as if she needs any more promotion. She is such an established YouTuber. She is amazing. Um, she is also very, very entertaining. So that's why I'm mentioning her. You guys all watch her. So, but I think she reports luxury news like it's news. Breaking news. Louis Vuitton has come out with a new handbag, whatever it is, right? I can't, I can't do her impression, but she reports all of these different fashion news with her spin on it, with her perspective on it. And it's just so funny, like her descriptions. I don't know how she even comes up with that. She's a natural. And I think she really understands how luxury works because of her experience. And of course, her mom, uh, based on what she told us, her mom has been in into luxury. So she obviously had one step or one leg up compared to the rest of us who only got into the luxury world or purses in general, you know, once we started having a little bit of money, right? So I hope that was entertaining and that was kind of a rambly video. But if you enjoyed this particular video and kind of my perspective from a viewer, subby, content creator perspective, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.